So Carla, let's go ahead and, and start record and um, I'll let you, I'm gonna um, let you go ahead and um, you're, you're start opening and welcoming. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you start. Welcome everyone to our annual members meeting uh, for the National Earth Science Teachers Association. We're very happy that you could be here. And if you are watching this later, we're happy that you are considering becoming involved in NESTA. Uh, today, we just wanna share a little bit about what sorts of things we're doing and ways that you can get involved with NESTA efforts. Um, on this first slide here, you'll see our executive committee. Uh, our president, Cheryl Manning, is here today, as is um, our board member representative, Tom, Missy Holzer, our other board member representative, and Belinda Jacobs, our president-elect. Hi, this is Cheryl Manning, the president of the National Earth Science Teachers Association. And let's start out a little bit with outlining NESTA's mission and vision. NESTA is here to help facilitate and advance excellence in K-12 earth and space science education. We wanna serve a diverse population of learners in both formal and informal settings. We want all students in the K-12 settings to receive a quality earth and space science education. NESTA promotes membership to those offering pre-service and in-service education to K-12 teachers, the K-12 teachers themselves, as well as undergraduate and graduate students in the geosciences, environmental sciences, education, and related fields. We are a member-run nonprofit organization that supports teachers that are sciences at all levels, and our hope is to help fuel the passion for the earth and beyond. So uh, NESTA is working hard to increase its internet presence, and we have three main avenues for doing that. We have a website, we have a Facebook group, and we also um, are on Twitter. Uh, Cheryl, if you'll click on the, um, the website link. <laughs> I tested all these things. Did it go there? Um, can, you, can you guys see the website? Not yet. Right. Let me just change something real quick. Sorry, it takes just a second. Hmm. The links work. There we go. Let me just reshare the screen. And you should be able to see it now. Right. So this is the home page of the NESTA website. And if you scroll down a little bit on the front page, you will see our news and announcements. We encourage you to check there frequently. Uh, currently, we are looking for people interested in running for office. And we've also developed a page for this, this today's annual meeting. Um, you can click on that for a second, Cheryl, and take care. When the meeting is over, we'll put the recording where the call-in information is. Um, on the left-hand side, you can see our other main sections of our website. Uh, we have a teaching resources section, professional development, educational advocacy. We'll kind of talk a little bit about some of those things um, as we go through. Uh, let's see if there's anything in particular. You could go to the teaching resources section briefly and I'll show you what one of these things looks like. So if you scroll down, you'll see that um, we actually do have a third collection. It's just not posted up here yet. Uh, and that is the Earth Science Week collection. But if we look at the teaching about hurricanes, what we're trying to do is to bring you the best of the vetted resources that we can. Uh, so these are resources that have um, been posted elsewhere, some of them in the CLEAN network. Uh, there's the National Hurricane Center, but uh, we're just trying to provide you with the best of the best here. Uh, and you'll see more of these coming online uh, over time. Did you want to uh, go ahead and go to the Facebook group and say something about it? Sure. You could just go to the homepage of Nesta and click on it that way if you want to. 
So one thing I will say while Cheryl is bringing that up is that the Facebook group is um, a collaborative space that once you become a member of the group, you still monitor posts, but you can actually uh, communicate with other teachers in here and ask for help about teaching something, etc. Okay. Is there anything you, else you want to say about the Facebook group? Or um, uh, what's, what's our sure. uh, Right now we have uh, 1,644 members. We have seven new members that have joined in the last week. Um, we uh, post notifications here for uh, events that Nest is going to be a part of. We alert people of opportunities for leadership. And we also have um, conversations regarding uh, materials and labs and that sort of thing that people may be interested in. So if you're looking for a particular type of resource, this is a good place to go and pose a question and have different people uh, respond and provide their resources that they might use for those same topics. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing the Facebook page for right now and go back to the presentation. All right. Is there anything else anybody wants to say or any questions people have about the Facebook page, the Twitter page, or the website? All right, let's go ahead and move forward then. So we are currently um, looking for people to get involved with Nesta leadership. We have several committees that we that are ongoing. Uh, some of them are new. Our committees on early uh, education at the K uh, K twelve level, so uh, elementary and middle school education. We have a committee that just recently formed on that. We have some STEM and STEAM committees, and we also have some um, working groups that focus in on just the function of our organization. We are also um, in the process of taking nominations for leadership opportunities within NESTA. Uh, the leadership, um, the, the elections will be held uh, early in 2018, and those, that process is all being run by Belinda Jacobs, who is our president-elect. Um, if you click on that link, is it going to automatically share, or will you have to? I have to jump in and jump out. Okay. But um, Belinda, did you want to add anything about running for office? Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, because I'm all tangled up here. Um, just that if you are passionate about the earth sciences, and we would love to have you um, in earth science teaching, and you don't have to know everything there is to know about NESTA um, before jumping right in with both feet. Uh, we need, we have uh, four regional director positions open, two directors at large, and um, our president-elect position, secretary and treasurer positions as well. Great, thank you. Back to you, Carla. So another way you can get involved is by writing an article for our peer-reviewed journal, The Earth Scientist. Uh, in addition, we have a monthly e-news that goes out, and if you have something that you wanna share with teachers, that's another avenue. Uh, the contacts for these are <clears throat> David Tessinger is our editor for TESS, and then Tina Hart is our editor for eNews. And you can always contact me with questions about those as well. Our peer review journal is all digital at this point, except when we have a sponsored issue, and that sponsor chooses to do a print run. So we do have a back to school issue that will be coming out as a print edition. Uh, sometime in the next few weeks. All right, very good. One of the main goals of the National Earth Science Teachers Association is to be an advocate for teachers of earth and space science. We are currently responding to, to numerous issues and events that have occurred in the last little while. Some of this is through our website where we post resources for teachers um, to teach about things like the eclipse and the hurricanes that have recently affected uh, the southeastern part of the United States. We, are, we have created and are currently creating uh, several position statements on a variety of issues. 
and we endorse the efforts of other or individuals and organizations that share our goals. We encourage you to become active both locally and nationally, advocating for earth science education at all levels. So another opportunity for you to get involved is to present on behalf of NESTA at NSTA area and national conferences. Um, we have a full day at an area conference in which sessions are blocked for NESTA. We're all in one room and we encourage you to consider if you're planning on presenting at NSTA to consider presenting as part of the NESTA group of sessions. At the national conference or the annual conference, we have two full days of sessions. Uh, right now, currently, um, you can present at a share a uh, for New Orleans, and that um, share a form is open. The Atlanta ones will come open later this month. And another way for you to get involved is to just act locally and recruit people, let people know about the National Earth Science Teachers Association at district or state meetings and conferences you may be going to. If you're going to a conference, we can often provide you with materials such as bookmarks, past copies of our journal, The Earth Scientist, and sometimes an Earth Science Week kit. All right. One of the things that Nestle, um, one of the, my favorite things that Nesta does is that we do uh, recognize leaders and partner organizations uh, through some awards that we uh, participate in. Uh, the Nesta awards um, are, are posted on the website here on this page. Um, and then that the Friends reception, of our science reception at NSTA annual conferences, we hand out awards and we have a nice banquet and we would love to have people participate and, and engage with us there. We also are a part of NAGT's Outstanding Earth Science Teacher um, Award Program uh, and we cooperate with other organizations to provide teachers who are awarded with the Outstanding Earth Science Teacher um, Award that uh, a two-year membership and opportunities to present with us and we recognize them at our meetings. Uh, Nesta awards Stony mini grants of up to $500 for Nesta members. And um, this is a, uh, an award that is, uh, is in honor of uh, some members who were founding, who found, helped to found uh, the National Earth Science Teachers Association. Uh, Cheryl and I will be participating in a webinar this coming Wednesday, um, Let's Talk Rocks, Rock Inquiry 101. Uh, and basically this is a follow-up to Science Friday, which had a neat rock challenge. Um, Cheryl, I'll let you speak a little bit more about that. I haven't actually posted my rock yet to the neat rock challenge, but those of you who know me can see why I like that rock. So the, the Neat Rock Challenge, um, Science Friday is asking people to, and you can do this either through Facebook, Twitter, or on their website, uh, post um, a picture of a rock that is important to you in some way, and then give a little context of why it is important. Um, and so it, it's, uh, it, right now they have, I, I believe in the first week they had over 800 different posts of, of rocks that people thought were important enough to them to post on their website or put our tag on Facebook or Twitter. And it's uh, fun to see all the different things that people are putting up from outcrop size to, you know, very small rocks that people have found. Um, but it's uh, also raising awareness, I think, in, in the broader community of how the planet that we live on has some pretty neat things to think about. And uh, it's a great way to celebrate Earth Science Week. Uh, do you know a little bit about Science Friday, Cheryl, that you might be able to share? Yeah, so Science Friday is a um, public radio uh, program that it occurs every Friday. For me in Colorado, it, it occurs around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And they bring on um, cool things that are happening in the sciences um, from all different areas. Uh, it's hosted by Ira Flato. 
and they interview scientists and um, science educators, and uh, they uh, have all sorts of different types of conversations around um, the modern scientific happenings. So I would say picking up articles out of, of science or nature, uh, bringing out, uh, they had some people on talking about hurricanes and the eclipse, of course. And so they really just try to feature uh, some of the most up-to-date and current things that are happening in science. Great. So we want to thank you again uh, for your interest in the National Earth Science Teachers Association and hope that you'll think about ways to become more involved. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you.